on the other hand, believe aliens are so far removed from what we are as humans, just like all life on this planet is unbelievably different, that the chances that they even have spaceships, even if they can, like, they might be gas, for all we know. Like, they don't have to be a physical form thing that flies in a ship and then also happens to come to other planets and observe, which is, again, a very human thing. Like, I think it's a really human-centric idea that aliens would come and visit and observe us and stuff. The B-side word. A-L-I-E-N-S. My sister and mine's favorite discussion that sometimes mm. gets us really high energy, sometimes mm. has us butting heads like crazy. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I want to throw a question out. So I don't know if you guys know about this report that came out yesterday, finally. Thank but you for sending the, it to me. I did read if, it. If you want to throw, if you want to throw a question out, why are you throwing it to us? Throw it out somewhere else. Because no, no, I want to see how you us. guys engage with it as well. So this report was it was ordered by the Trump administration back in December for I think it was along with a lot of other things, but they threw in there that they wanted this um, redacted report published in six months' time to Congress, who then may redact some stuff, but it go out to the public of the findings from the UAF task force, which is the Unidentified Aerial... Is it UAP? Sorry, phenomena. P, yeah. The Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, the new acronym for UFO, what used to be UFO. Um, Their findings of the sightings that have been happening since about 2004 to recent day, um, a lot of them now by like military and all that kind of stuff, not just by your general public. And this this report has people have been waiting and waiting and waiting, speculating about what's going to be in it. And then it came out yesterday, and it pretty much was like, yeah, we don't we we don't know. Like we we've got literally, no answers. Literally, that's what it said. Um, <clears throat> so I just wanted to throw this thing out to Emma because when it comes to this kind of stuff, to give a quick overview of our stances, me and Emma both believe in aliens. Both believe they exist. Me and Emma are very aligned on a lot of things, but. One fundamental difference in our beliefs when it comes to aliens is the likelihood that they've visited Earth. Mm-hmm. That's where we sort of part ways. Differ. Um, and sort of is putting it generously. I think Emma's... <laughs> Emma's who's very for and much... who's against? <laughs> oh, you don't know? I'm for. I think they've I been know. here. I know. I think but they've... <laughs> people people oh, are listening sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I think aliens have been here and I'm quite... I'm I'm sure they have, but yeah. you know, Emma's, and, Emma's and my brother confident. does not. I'm quietly confident. I, on the other hand, believe aliens are so far removed from what we are as humans. Just like all life on this planet is unbelievably different, that the chances that they even have spaceships, even if they can, tra- like they might be gas for all we know. Like they don't have to be a physical form thing that flies in a ship and then also happens to come to other planets and observe, which is, again, a very human thing. Like, I think it's a really human-centric idea that aliens would come and visit and observe us and stuff. Like, I just think that's what we would do, so we assume other life would do it. Um, but a question to you who, who, by all accounts, know more about the sightings... Um, not the military ones, like I'm pretty well versed in those, but like other ones that people have talked about, like because there are lots of reports all over the world, lots of pictures and videos that people post and stuff. <laughs> Not very something good I pictures. Of, <laughs> well, look, this is something that I, I thought about that. while it's reading this reading this report because they were talking about the different sightings and like the different circumstances, and I was like, hold on. So, if these reports that have come out. There are some similarities in some of them. Like, for example, some of the triangle ones, Emma, with her own sighting. Some of the more orb ones. Then you have, like, the Tic Tac one. Then you have the weird shaped one that was rotating. Like... Yeah. So, is the idea that this is one species of possible alien that's come here in several different kinds of ships kind of like... SpaceX versus uh, what is the Blue Origin mm-hmm. versus NASA versus Russia. Like they're all mm-hmm. sending up their own kind of ship, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Is is it that idea, or is it the idea that there are several different types of alien species that all happen to be visiting us at the same time? 
I am not sure. I think there's more than one species. However, um, that's just from my un. <laughs> I don't really. I can't attest to this, but I. I. I I believe that there are different types of aliens. I think that there are probably the grey aliens and <laughs> the grey aliens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just like, what? Well, we've um, we've given them races. No, no, there are no, the grey aliens. Yeah, the the grey aliens are uh, the hey, ones that that are the. You're... We started the racism already on these aliens. <laughs> <laughs> we've, right. we've given a human construct to them as well. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, however... I don't, I don't want to talk to that alien. It's grey. However, <laughs> um, I do also think that if it was one species, they don't necessarily have to have one type of craft as well. And that might not be because they're from, like Alexander was saying, you know, their race or their alienness is separated like ours is. It could just be that they have made different types of ships. I'm not sure. So... I just want to ask Alexander, are you saying now that you do believe that aliens have have visited us? No, he doesn't believe it. No, even I with this new information? I, I think the question that I just posed to me makes it even more certain that they didn't visit us. They didn't. I, I, I would only... The only reason why I think they have visited us, and not, not, not as a human thing, but like... Um, I started, I started, I list, I started listening to this thing, the origin of species, right? And it showed that, um, I, I started reading it, but I, oh man, I'm so into it. It's, we're when all into, this? we're on, all interconnected somehow, right? We're all in, on this, on this planet, we're all somehow connected. Mm-hmm. And then it started like, you know, when you start talking about intuition and you talk about subconscious and um, the, all that kind of stuff, I wonder if that's how we're connected to the rest of the universe. And for that energy to go out there, I wonder if, I wonder if the aliens are picking up on that energy and coming. So the only reason why I feel like aliens would come visit, not as an observation, but just because of the energy that we're sending out there. Well, a, a lot of people level. that have that are into aliens do definitely believe there's the, the telepathic thing. So they actually. I'm not talking about telepathic. I'm talking well, it's, about that's the it's, energy it's as something, well, right? As well. Is it? Is telepathic is through? Well, oh it's yeah, it's thoughts, a different. It's a it's, wave. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A I, know. I know what you mean. Yeah. CJ. Um, maybe a sh- the the world is just a good alien holiday destination. <laughs> I mean, we could we could go with that narrative. Could they you like expand to come on here. that? Yeah. They're sending they're sending people, yeah. oh, aliens, to come and uh, look at us. Look at those. It's a look at this world over here, the blue world, and there's things that move on it. And they come and they look. Like, like you know, you know the Bermuda Triangle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's their little um, area. They go where they can see us. Maybe. And maybe the reason for the different crafts is because of the the journey they take on the way here. Kind of like if you're going to America, you can go by boat, you can go by plane. You yeah, could maybe you probably could. not go by helicopter. Like yeah, maybe one they just took the a different scenic route. route. Here. So one yeah. goes the <laughs> one's like the express train. You know, it gets you there in a. Yeah, first the other class, one is like you want to see economy. the stars go by. Yeah. So I think look, I, I you got you got the alien Beyonce. I think even even what you're saying, Dev. Like I think with the idea of consciousness, because I'm I'm very much on the idea. If we talk about consciousness, that I don't think consciousness and the physical body are typically, or I I don't assume they're as connected as a lot of people think. Like because of our physical makeup, that's what generates our consciousness. Like I'm open to the idea of that. I'm also open to the idea that consciousness is completely separate from humans, and we just sort of are tapping into it. Yeah. yeah. Um. But. I will also say that our observation of consciousness comes in one form. So yeah. through our lens. even then, even those two open ideas are still, to me, two of millions of possibilities that we yes. haven't even conceived because we're, yeah, we're, we're looking at it from one perspective. So I just, yeah. this, is where, this is why I say to me, this is more evidence that they haven't is and when i say evidence i use that word loosely but I, what i mean is 
we look at things from a singular perspective as far as a species and we look at things from experiential point of view and and in, in the universe from one we look at it linearly yeah. time we look at linearly everything yeah. space we look at as as this 3d space but we see it from one point of view like as yeah. many as as different as we are as humans we're not a, like a, a chimpanzee's point of view would be drastically different than any two humans um yes. so for that like even the idea that we understand the origins of life on earth like i don't buy into it like i i'm not saying it's wrong but i'm saying the likelihood of it being right is extremely small like how do we mm. not know that plenty of different asteroids meteorites will ever crash into earth over the apparent millions and billions of years that it's been here and just brought several different life forms like it's the idea that we just know everything to me is crazy arrogant oh no considering no, yeah, how wrong we've been 100%. proven over time yeah and that's so yeah, that's why the idea that these multiple spaceships that are completely completely different forms have completely different attributes do different things behave in different ways uh either several species to me the idea of several species of aliens coming here is crazy small chances like unbelievably insignificant that we've not seen anything and yet several of them have come here like what are we doing that's broadcasting to that many different species that far away that we can't detect that all happen mm -hmm. to come here Mm -hmm. Why are they all behaving in the same it's, way in it's terms the men of black? <laughs> I think it's what? more likely that it's one species with, and then again, with various crafts. So if it's one species with various crafts, taking the human perspective on this, because the idea that they come in crafts and all that is already a human's perspective. So taking mm -hmm. the human perspective, mm -hmm. if we were going to do that to another planet what are the chances that we've developed that many different types of craft that behave in that many different types of ways that can all make mm -hmm. that journey? Like, the very well, well, by the time we make that journey, I think there's a higher chance. But do you not, is it not the same as like when we make it to the moon for the first time, when we make it to Mars for the first, like one craft Yeah, but it does might it. not be We don't even have a fleet time. of craft. It's not it, even it, like it, there's a fleet of the same craft. There's just one, like yeah. only one that can do it. And I then they build another one. I think you have to consider that... I personally don't believe that it, this is a new thing. I believe this that aliens have been visiting Earth for possibly thousands of years. Um, so I, I think yeah. that sightings have been around for ages, obviously, um, even before the modern day. And then when the modern day human was taking sightings, it wasn't being taken seriously and now it's starting to be taken seriously but i don't think this is a new thing what, what what's the article that alexander was talking about the uap oh that's the report it's, what was it's the like a 180 report? page report oh my gosh um, yeah they summarize it at the beginning but yeah. i, yeah, I a, freaking hate it report. if you read all of it and then it at the end it goes psych I, <laughs> oh that'll well, shit me the thing that, that i haven't me. read I, I definitely obviously haven't read the whole report um, yeah and the thing i don't like is summaries often don't actually summarize they give you what they want you to read because they know you're not yeah. going to read the whole thing yeah um so i don't know what's in there i'm waiting because there will be people who will read it and then talk about yeah. it i'm waiting to see yes. all the different perspectives on what's yeah. in it um the, i read yeah. the well, eight I page either. i read eight pages the one that you sent i'm intrigued by those people that read the the 180 pages like within like a day <laughs> and then they have a good like a grasp of the what the the reports about and i'm like you serious you you, un you go yeah page 40 um paragraph three this is what they said and i'm like this well, is the evidence i'm like from what? the summary what? they basically summarized <laughs> what everyone was talking <laughs> about before so they yeah. basically said we don't know what it is oh. um it is however a threat to national security we've got five categories that we're going to be placing them into um, and the last category was, category was a catch-all other bin. <laughs> so, any, so think, any, everything that didn't fit the first four categories just goes into the other category. Oh, dear. And I but, think um, the thing that frustrates me about these types of things as well is you don't see debate 
Mm. And when I, I among the people who should be debating, you see debate among me and Emma. You see debate among several other people who have conflicts of views. But what you don't see, like for example, I I often present Emma with information, be one side or the other, just new information that I see someone say. And I'm like, well, this is new. I'll share it with Emma. Um, just in the same way that I like discovering it. I know she does. So one thing that you don't get to see though is you don't get to see the people who are. Shaking the jar. who mm. like these these um navy pilots or whatever um the the people who are who are viewing these sensors and these radars the people who are mm. observing this stuff you don't get to see them have a conversation with the people who come up with explanations for this stuff yeah so you I don't ever get to, to see them refute no like, they the- need to have a sit down jerry springer style well not jerry springer style but <laughs> open forum like a you know how you can watch don't- don't most blo- uh, whistleblowers end up dead? A lot of them. Uh, well, these aren't considered whistleblowers, but, are but they? now, yeah, right. Now it's now that more and more high. I mean, even with uh, what's his name, good old thingy, the yeah. Bob. Yeah, it's not David. No, no. Who's my one? Elon. The Netflix one. No. Anyway, Snowden. No. Oh, Bob Lazar. Bob no. Lazar. Like he has been. He w- he had to that? basically go quiet for twenty years. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Um, where was I going? I don't know. Oh, he, he, he threw me off track. Um, the debate. Oh, I can't remember. Because I I don't know. Like I've seen people give explanations to me that are scientific, not explanations, but scrutiny, which is scientific scrutiny, which something like Neil deGrasse Tyson said, which I whether he's right in his conclusion or not points that he made i agree with which are things like the level of scrutiny science whenever science comes out with a theory or and when i say science i mean like uh like a conglomeration of scientists not just like one report like the body of science the the people who speak sort of on on behalf of the community when they come out and say this is a new discovery or this is a new theory that we're we we found or whatever the level of scrutiny that it goes under is unbelievably yes. strict. Yes. And the amount of repetition that is required under the same circumstances with the same pieces of information, which unfortunately you can't force in this situation because it's it's purely like happenstance. When it happens, then there's a viewing, there's a sighting, there's a reading of data or whatever. But the lack of... Uh, like congruent situations, similar situations that happened and the lack of the the credibility of one um what's it called eyewitness testimony eyewitness. like i <clears throat> excuse me i do i believe in eyewitness testimony maybe point zero one percent of the time uh, is it mm. actually accurate and that's not because i don't believe people and i don't believe that they believe what they're saying but we're very flawed when it comes to that kind of thing as, as people like it's proven we're not good at it yeah um and then the sensors and the data it's if you're tracking something that you're not expecting to track is your data is your is your radar is your sensor are one are you reading the data properly because you've never read data that does this kind of thing before so it's not just it, when it comes to data it's not just what does the data say oh well, that's conclusive it's something it's how do you interpret the data so are they interpreting it right to start with did it actually accurately record what they're saying it did because it's not built to record that mm. like this and then some of the explanations that have come out that have said well these are possible explanations for why this thing's happened i'm like look, i don't know if they're right these the, the scrutiny might be wrong it might be entirely wrong but I'm not the person to judge that. Like, I don't have enough intelligence to understand whether that scrutiny is right or wrong, but it presents enough of a picture that I want someone who's intelligent enough to have that conversation. Definitely. And it's just but frustrating. Also, I, yeah, but I find it frustrating when people disclude people's... Uh, for example, David Fravor, he, he's been a, a, a pilot and Top Gun and that. He's been high level for 20 years and he's come up with the technology and the new planes and all the sensors and everything so to see something like this and he said it wasn't just a quick it wasn't it didn't didn't happen you know and then five seconds 10 seconds he said they were visually seeing this thing and and actively tracing it for five about five minutes 
So do you then, know what he's never people... said? What? He's never said he thinks it's aliens. No, I'm not. I know we don't. I, we don't even have to say aliens, but it's something he said he doesn't believe from this world, based on the information he knows. Has at he the said? Level has that he actually he has... said it doesn't believe yeah. it's from this world? Yes. I don't think yes, I've ever heard yes, him yes, say yes. that. I've heard him say I that have. he doesn't know what it is. No, no, I've heard. No, no. In the interview, he specifically says he doesn't think it's from this world. I've watched it. I watched him say that. So I've seen the same interviews you have. I don't, I, I could be wrong. No, I, no. I, honestly, I just don't remember him saying that conclusion. I remember him saying yeah, he no, doesn't, he he's not aware of propulsion systems that can do <clears> that. He's not aware, of, but he doesn't know what it is. He, spe- he said the world, he doesn't, he said the words, he doesn't think it's from this world. I, I'll, I'll find it. I'll forward it on. But um, I think, yeah, when people like us <laughs> who just have like normal day jobs, <laughs> try and refute what an expert or someone in that field that has been day after day after day so thousands of hours is, doing that this is where we disagree i don't think he's an expert on what he's seeing i think he's an expert pilot that's two oh, completely yeah, pilot, different things as in, to me no no he's not an expert on what he's seeing he's an expert on mat and being able to maneuver and and read the data of the planes that he's flying because so, if he was not an expert at that he would not be at the level because the danger of flying so those I, types of planes like he needs, to, a, he needs to know everything can i give you an analogous an analogous situation where mm. i think you'd agree with me maybe not lewis hamilton lewis yes. hamilton is an expert formula one driver he understands the data he helps his mechanics build what they build without his feedback they wouldn't be able to build the formula one cars that they do like that guy knows what he's doing mm-hmm. he's still not an expert on car manufacturing like no. the mechanics still know more about cars than he does oh, of like course, significantly yeah. more about cars than he does yes of course so is they not the same situation like why is david fravor more of an expert on propulsion systems like um, Lewis oh, Hamilton no, knows all this stuff. He doesn't know anything about combustion engines. Like yeah, he can't yeah. build a combustion. He doesn't know what the possibilities are. No, I agree. I agree. No, no, I'm not saying he's the expert in that. I'm saying the expert in how to read his own data that he's seeing. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But what's that got to because do some with people have said- seeing something that has a propulsion system that you're not familiar with? I think no, like, no, why I think should separate. He be that's just there? another thing. I think yeah. I think seeing like um, for instance, if he's in an aircraft. Uh, I don't know how many different aircrafts he's drew. Like he would have he's ha- flown different heaps, like years. helicopters, everything, right? Like, Not helicopters, I don't think. Well, maybe. So for for me, and this is just a theory. Like if you if you do something long enough, um, you it becomes uh, intuition. It becomes inbred with you. Uh, it becomes part of your DNA. If you and you sort of become a master in the movement of aircrafts, right? Because, like, you start moving and then if you see something that doesn't match up with the intuitions, it brings up alarm bells because you've been doing it for so long. So I'm only guessing that he has uh, done aircrafts at a, at a high level, right? And you're right. He's not um, um, uh, an expert in in that aircraft, but for his intu- in his intuition, he's thinking... Hmm. I haven't seen that before in an aircraft. And not just so him, let other me, pilots. Let too. me put you in a in a different let's imagine our current state of the world, but in a different place and time. Um mm. in terms of let's imagine again, I'll take the Lewis Hamilton example, racing. Yeah. yeah. But pre combustion engine. So the yeah. same level of expert in terms of how good he is, how much he knows comparative to other people, his ability to read data, all that kind of stuff. And then one day someone created a combustion engine. Mm. He would see a vehicle with a combustion engine and be like, I haven't got a fucking clue what that is. Yeah. yeah. I do yeah. not know. What, but that doesn't mean that it was anything more than just someone creating a combustion engine. No, So of like course. these propulsion systems, yeah. this is what, but these are the kinds of things that I mean. Like just because he's seen something, he doesn't know what it means. It is. Yeah. It doesn't mean that no, it's no. a crazy out of this, like oh, it no, could no, be no. something of he doesn't know what it is. Look, yeah, 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 that's yeah, what, hundred percent. Yeah, that's, and that's what's being investigated. Yeah, that's but, that, hundred percent right. And, but then that's when I say the eyewitness testimony, like you, like you say when people say they don't believe him, I don't believe his conclusion because he's not 
why uh, why should conclusion. I believe his conclusion? Like, what what's the basis no, no, that I should uh, believe his conclusion? Oh, okay. So I was responding because you said um, I think you made some a comment about um, not being able to read the data properly or thinking something is something on the sensor, but it's actually not that or whatever. And so I was saying, well, no, he was that it it picked it up on his radar, his sensors, which he knows how to read, and it was with him for five minutes. I'm not stating that he, it's 100 percent an alien. Well, but I'm his, saying that. Can, he I, can I ask what's it, what is his conclusion? Well, that's what he according, doesn't know what it is. Yeah, I, I, but from he did what I remember, that. he doesn't. He doesn't know. Oh, and okay. he said that but he, he said something think, from out of this world. Yeah. Right. Okay. But then, so then, but that, so that point on the data and reading the senses and stuff, again, like, if this is something that is moving in a way that you've never seen, that you've never recognized, is your Mm. sensor built to track that kind of thing? And is your sensor accurately actually reading what's going on? So it doesn't matter whether you can read the sensor or not. Is the sensor built to track that? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. So it's, again, like, it's, this is where these these reports can be accurate to the testimony of the people but it doesn't mean they're actually accurate reports and that's where the level of scrutiny that we put on science is different to what we're putting on this but to me it should be the same and look i i want i like everything within me wants this to be true like how incredible would it be to be alive during the period of time that this becomes like a real thing that would be insane Mm. an experience like i'm talking paradigm shifting experience you wouldn't look at life the same way like i've, I've even asked emma and I, i've put this poll out and we, we've had this conversation like, even if they did discover it's aliens are they still actually going to tell us or are they going to give us a piece of the pie because if they did tell us it's anarchy like would you go to work anarchy. the next day yeah i still got bills <laughs> but what do, bills? do you the aliens aren't paying my bills do you view that in the same way yeah because I'm not sure people do. Like, if, if there's indisputable evidence, like an alien spaceship lands, it has a handshake with, with uh, Joe Biden, because, you know, it's going to be in America, of course. Because <laughs> ev- everything alien is always America. Um, yeah. So they land on the White House lawn. They go give Biden a handshake, and they say, all right, um, Bob the alien, um, just making it known, yep, we have been observing you for a long period of time. We now think it's a good time for us to come together. We think mm-hmm. we could help you. And all. Like, I'm not going to work the next day. The people who provide me with electricity and stuff, like you, you're no longer important. Like this is complete. We're in a completely different situation. We're not in a. I need to survive a day to day life. We're in a. I need yeah. to survive a galactic. <laughs> like, here's here's a theory, right? Here's a theory. Uh, with human nature, we always have to, for some unknown reason, have a, a common enemy. Yeah. What if they're creating these aliens, these gray aliens? So that we have someone to fight. So that we come together as a species and don't destroy our planet yeah. and unite. <laughs> and we, we, we fight together. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is another question what, what I pose. What colors do you mix together to get gray? I, I did pose. White and black. I, did, I pose this based <laughs> off of what Russell Brand said. <laughs> he, he posed this idea, <laughs> but didn't pose, but didn't take it in this direction. He posed the idea of, you know, there's motivation for this being out now. Yes. Political, um, ge- so my, geopolitical. Yeah, geopolitical motivation for this being a thing. So that was, so I took it away, you took it, Dev, in terms of, is there also motivation for them to lie? What, what possibly could they be distracting from or what could possibly be the motivation? Um, well, the f- world is effed up at the moment. There's a lot of things that they're doing to, to distract us. There's a lot of things that the, I think the government's got their hands in to distract mm-hmm. the simpletons, us, mm-hmm. from actually We are the what, simpletons, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Us. Yeah. Us. Yep. And... Um, the cookie cutters. Yeah. I, uh, if you're not awake to it, it's... I mean, I'm not awake to it. I'm still living... I we, To be honest, we have no idea. And Russell Brand also stated that he he's not... He's not stupid. Of course, they're covering something up. And of course, they're doing something for their benefit or whatever they feel is the right thing to do. But that doesn't take away from the fact that the main message is there's things out there that no one knows what the heck they are. Like even the internet. Supposedly the internet but- was like hidden from us for years. And they're like, you know what? Let's hide 
all this stuff in plain sight so we'll give him information overload. Mm -hmm. So people, can, everyone's opinion can be out there and no one knows what the truth is. This is, wow. Yeah, mind blown. Not really. <laughs> I think someone else came with that theory. I'm just yeah, bringing probs. it to the table. Uh, yeah, it's it. look, it's an interesting topic. Everyone has their difference of opinion. I do think that uh, if they say aliens exist, aliens exist. However, I don't think that they're going to tell us everything at all. See, I think they're going to spin the story to how the they want it to be. Word. <laughs>